Yo, what's good to YouTube? It's your boy Kuro back with some Dragon Ball Z Kakarot news. Today I'm giving you guys my analysis and thoughts on the opinions. But before we get into the video, if you're new, join around by hitting that subscribe button and turning on post notifications. Like the video if you want to see more content like this. With all that being said, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. All right, here we go. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is an action RPG. Let's see what's happening. So I know, I know they're talking about the um support characters in this game, playable support characters, and I kind of got some things I want to touch on. So I'm gonna be quiet. So let's see what's going on. Okay, we pretty much seen all of this. Whew, that animation just be looking so cold. All right, I'm gonna stop it right here. I just want to touch on this. Like, how good are these support characters are going to be? Because I'm just, I can't help but to compare, you know, this game to like Xenoverse and stuff. Um, if you ever play Xenoverse or Xenoverse Two. Pretty much, the support characters was always pretty much useless. And that that wasn't even um, powerful enough to even get the aggro. I just hope um, the support characters in this game is at least kind of like decent, like they actually like help you out. I just want to throw that out there before you know, because this is my first time watching this. Let's continue. Let's continue. Into battle, and each of them has a unique set of moves and techniques to back Goku up. Okay. Let's start off with Krillin. Krillin. <laughs> The solar flare to blind and stun enemies within a certain range. I the bet. Disc tracks the enemy and hey, like that could be pretty useful for once. <laughs> hey, Next up is Yamcha. His spirit ball has a strong homing ability, and with multiple hits, it can restrain the enemy for a long bet. period of time. You know what I'm saying? Yamcha you can restrain can him while you know what I'm saying you're doing your own combo and stuff like that. Simply want to open up a group of enemies to connect a powerful Kamehameha beam. Okay. Yen can also use the solar flare to stun the enemy, but be sure to also utilize the tri beam to dish out some serious damage. Chao Tzu can I, use his telekinesis to restrain. I like I like how they're making the support characters in this game because so far they they actually like do moves that actually stun the character where you can um do your ultimate transform or whatever you're trying to do in this game. Um that I feel like they'll definitely be useful like going up against you know powerful bosses like Frieza, Cell, Kid Buu because I'm pretty sure they gonna have no stagger and stuff like that because you know with DBZ games they this is what they love to do they don't try to like make it hard no more as far as like mechanic wise they just put you know stun on there and extra damage so this is going to be actually useful you know what I'm saying so uh, support characters are actually useful this time around in the DBZ game let's continue this effect lasts for quite some time, so take advantage of this opportunity. Yes, sir. Combos. Along with the unique skills that each support, support actions to the table, these right, let's go on, let's, what's going on here? Fighting alongside Goku during combat, and will take certain actions depending on your playstyle. For instance, they may help you connect combos, launch a range. Okay, but yo, the graphics on this game just looks so. Also launch a Z combination attack with your Yo, they got like a, to trigger a flurry Hold on, hold on Okay, so she said Z combination So like, we got like team ultimates now Like a coordinated um attack Yo, this this gonna be dope This gonna be like on some uh You know, like the Storm series I mean, cause you know Cyber Connect 2 is making this game But like, I feel like this pretty dope Cause we never got that in the DBZ game So, um it's gonna be rather interesting, you know, for me to connect. What's she say again? I forgot already. You can also launch a Z combination. Z combination is what it's called. <laughs> Whichever. Okay. Followed by a massive energy blast. Ah. Now let's answer the player because yes, sir. The bread and butter. Able to take control of other playable characters other than the bread and butter. That who? Hey, <laughs> yo, they got him. Yo, they go back, go back, go back. Oh, my bad, y'all. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Playable characters can be controlled not only during combat, but on the field as well. Yo, they got my guy Gohan and this and this Gi. Yo, 
this game finna be heat, y'all. Like, y'all tripping if y'all not copying, man. Like, bro, they got my guy in this game. <laughs> Enjoy hunting, eating, interacting with you. Know what I'm saying? Same song for me, go on. traveling as your favorite heroes. There are also some sub-quests that can only... Bro, I can go in the house? ...specific playable character. Now let's see the playable characters in action. First off is Goku's son, Gohan. Gohan is highly okay. proficient in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Connect your combos Good. with short-range skills to take away the enemy's health Basenko. and finish them with Basenko. Piccolo has high health... Okay, Pic we know Piccolo confirms. With the explosive wave, he can create a wide-range blast around himself. This is very useful when there are multiple enemies crowding your space. His iconic special beam cannon is, of course... So they pretty much you're just going up with the moves that he can do and stuff like that. Vegeta has a which, preference for key blast. Which you pretty much already know. His multiple energy blast launches a rain of key blasts towards a targeted enemy. This is useful for one-on-one -on -one fights, as well as taking down several enemies clustered together. That's all for today, but keep your scouters on the lookout for our next... Hey, I like how she said that, keep your scouters on. <laughs> get ready for the full version of the game coming in early 2020 on Xbox One. All right, so this um pretty much it um again support characters in this game gonna be actually useful because like you said I'm just reiterating some of the things they already said like you're gonna be able to actually stun the character in place or at least stall them off long enough to where you can pretty much do whatever you want to do where whatever it might be if that's transforming to like a super saiyan to gain a, a big power boost or doing a level threes <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying level threes, but you know, you, you know what I'm trying to say, like ultimates and stuff like that. Boost up the damage to the character that you attacking. So yeah, um, I actually think support characters in this game gonna be actually good. Definitely be on the lookout for that. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Like the video if you enjoy and you want to see more content like this. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the vibes, and also if you want to keep updated to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot news and gameplay don't forget to turn on post notifications so you won't miss out on the upload and you know join my discord y'all don't join my discord so i can communicate with you guys and follow me on twitter so you guys can keep updated with me but um yeah that's pretty much all i have to say you guys um with all that being said i see you guys in my next video i'm out <laughs>